Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Minutes, where we dive deep into thought-provoking cinema that brings light to crucial societal issues. Today, we explore the moving and powerful film, Ilaha, 2023, a drama that delves into the intimate struggles of a young Kurdish woman grappling with the weight of family, culture, and her identity. This film, directed by Milena Aboyan, uncovers the poignant reality of a second-generation immigrant trying to navigate modern-day expectations and age-old traditions. Elaha opens by introducing us to its central character, Elaha, a 22-year-old woman with dreams, aspirations, and a deeply ingrained burden imposed by her community. Born into a Kurdish family living in a German town, Elaha has managed to finish high school and is now focusing on job applications, which she works on not only for herself, but to help her father find employment. From the very beginning, we feel the weight of familial expectations. Her intelligence is evident, yet there's no mention of higher education. Instead, we see her future path marked by an impending marriage. While on the surface, Elaha appears to be going through the motions of daily life, there's a hidden turmoil brewing within her. She is not a virgin, and in her community, this simple fact could jeopardize everything. For Elaha, the concept of virginity is more than just a word. It's a societal cage, a relic of a patriarchal system. Virginity is tied to a woman's worth, and for Elaha, this belief is an unshakable burden. As her wedding approaches, she becomes obsessed with finding a way to restore her so-called purity. In her desperate quest, Elaha turns to the internet, seeking clinics that offer hymen reconstruction. The sheer absurdity of the procedure is portrayed in a raw and honest way. One doctor candidly explains to her that not all women have hymens, and that physical virginity is a construct, a concept born of cultural pressure, not biology. Yet, Elaha remains haunted by the belief that her worth is measured by this outdated idea. The film expertly contrasts Elaha's quiet struggle with the vibrant chaos of her family life. Her mother, overwhelmed with the responsibilities of raising Elaha's younger sister and disabled brother, has little time to notice her daughter's growing anxiety. Her father, too, is distant, lost in his own struggles of unemployment and social displacement. In this household, Elaha's personal battle becomes invisible. Adding to her burden is the fact that Elaha's fiancé comes from a well-off family and the societal pressure mounts with every passing day. She knows that if her secret is revealed, it could spell disaster not just for her, but for her entire family. The notion that a single act could bring shame upon her family is a theme that resonates deeply throughout the movie. As the plot thickens, we see Elaha's desperate measures. She purchases not one, but two fake virginity kits, each designed to produce false evidence of her purity on her wedding night. This darkly comedic twist offers a brief moment of levity in an otherwise heavy narrative, highlighting the absurd lengths women in her position are forced to go to maintain societal expectations. Throughout the film, we witness Elaha's growing frustration with the patriarchal norms that govern her life. In candid conversations with her friends and even with her morose father, she begins to question why she must conform to these rigid beliefs. There's a particularly striking moment when she voices her thoughts, saying, damage to the herd is a disgrace to the shepherd. This line captures the essence of the film, shedding light on the toxic relationship between family honor and individual freedom. While Elaha's personal journey is at the heart of the film, the supporting characters add layers of complexity to the story. Her relationship with her former classmate, a kind-hearted boy who now works caring for animals, brings a softness to her life. He represents a glimmer of hope and understanding, but even he cannot fully grasp the depth of her struggle. Their interactions, though tender, are overshadowed by the larger issue at hand, Elaha's looming marriage. The character of Elaha is brilliantly portrayed by Bayan Layla, whose performance is raw, vulnerable, and deeply emotional. Layla embodies Elaha's internal conflict with such authenticity that it's impossible not to feel for her character. Her portrayal of a woman torn between her own desires and the crushing weight of cultural expectations is nothing short of phenomenal. Director Milena Aboyan doesn't shy away from the tough questions in Elaha. 
Through her lens, we see the collision of tradition and modernity, and how women like Elaha are caught in the middle. The film is a direct commentary on how cultural norms, particularly those surrounding women's bodies and sexual freedom, continue to oppress even in contemporary settings. What makes Elaha stand out is its unflinching look at the intersection of sex, patriarchy, and immigrant identity. The film doesn't offer easy answers, nor does it paint Elaha as a victim without agency. Instead, it shows a young woman fighting for control over her own life, even when the odds are stacked against her. Elaha is more than just a film about virginity. It's a film about the lengths women must go to satisfy cultural demands and the personal sacrifices they make in the process. It's about reclaiming one's self-worth in a world that continually tries to take it away. The film is a poignant reminder that while progress has been made, there is still much work to be done in breaking down these harmful societal structures. As the film moves towards its conclusion, Elaha's internal and external battles intensify. The pressure from her family, her fiancé and society at large weighs heavily on her shoulders. She knows that time is running out, and her decision could alter the course of her life forever. What stands out in these final moments is the film's focus on Elaha's strength. Despite the overwhelming expectations placed on her, there's a subtle defiance in her character that grows with each scene, making the climax all the more impactful. One of the film's most powerful scenes involves Elaha's quiet rebellion, not through grand gestures, but through small, significant acts of reclaiming her own body and autonomy. Her character's evolution from a girl who felt powerless to a woman who understands the complexities of her situation but refuses to be defined by them is nothing short of inspiring. This transformation is what makes Elaha resonate so deeply. It's a story of personal courage in the face of immense pressure. In the end, Elaha doesn't give us the typical fairy tale resolution, and that's what makes it so powerful. The ending is grounded in reality, reminding us that while cultural change is slow, the personal revolution begins within. Elaha's journey is far from over, but the film leaves us with hope that she will continue to fight for her right to exist on her own terms. It's a conclusion that reflects the film's central message, that true freedom comes not from fitting into society's mold, but from breaking free of it. The beauty of Elaha, lies in its ability to present a highly specific story that speaks to universal themes. It's a film that forces you to reflect on your own values, beliefs, and the expectations we all face, especially women, in a world that often values tradition over individuality. By the time the credits roll, you'll find yourself questioning not only the norms that exist within the film, but those that exist in our own lives. Thank you for watching this in-depth review and recommendation of Ilaha. If you enjoyed this, make sure to check out my other videos for more powerful movie recommendations that explore human stories with depth and nuance. This has been Minutes. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out my other videos.